Hello lovely humans and welcome to Girl Dinner. Girl Dinner. Girl Dinner. That's right. We're making dinner. In case you, you know, couldn't figure that out. Well, duh. Now, it's no secret that I have been struggling with my sugar addiction. We already knew that. But just because I'm struggling in one area doesn't mean I can't work on other areas to be more healthy. And that is what we are doing. So instead of having your regular old hamburgers, I'm gonna be making black bean burgers and I'm trying a new recipe. So fingers crossed it'll be good. If it doesn't taste disgusting, I will make sure to put it in the description box. I'm trying to gradually find new recipes that are healthier versions of old recipes or just healthy and good in general, just so I can have something to focus on instead of just eating junk. And lately I've been struggling real, real hard with the carbs and a ton of like red meat. So I figured replacing that with a veggie option would be a good start. For this recipe, the first thing you're gonna do is get two cans of black beans, rinse them, drain them, and spread them out on a pan. You're gonna wanna get rid of the excess wetness of the beans, so you throw them in the oven at 325 for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, light hell. a little drier. They're still pretty wet. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times you drain them. They never want to get fully drained. While those are cooling off, we are going to uh, saute our veggies. All right, first up, garlic. Then I added my chopped onion and red bell pepper. That should do it. So while those are cooking, I'm adding all the other ingredients into my food processor, which it turns out I actually use quite a bit. This one is uh, the sauce that I can't pronounce and I always want to say Worcestershire and that's not even close. There is no H. Worcestershire, whatever sauce. That's disgraceful. We'll go with Lee and Perrin's except for my brand is Heinz. So not that. This is going in right now. Excuse me, kitty cat. The cats are all circled around my feet, desperately hoping for a snack. He is ridiculous. Now, one of the things that I actually don't like about this recipe is that it calls for like two tablespoons of ketchup. I don't really like adding ketchup into my food. Yes, it's processed. To clarify, I love having it on the side. I will have like ketchup with a side of fries. I have a problem. <laughs> One of the first things I did when I started losing weight many, many moons ago, I switched to sugar-free ketchup and then was like, um, okay, we're gonna also do a whole lot less of this because you're not supposed to drink your calories and that applies to condiments as well. The first time I make a recipe, I always make it exactly how it says to do it and then I change it afterwards because I wanna see what the original, I guess like author, creator, whatever, thought of it and why. So we will see, but this is what we got so far. If my microphone falls in this, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> that's what we got so far. Other than a pinch of salt and pepper, that's all I need to add before adding in my peppers, garlic, and onions. And what I'm gonna do is basically get all of that pulsed together in the food processor, add about half of my beans. I'm gonna have to make sure to drain them a little more because they're still like a wee bit soggy. He's a little wet. <laughs> but I'm gonna drain them a little bit more and then I'll put about half of them in the food processor and then leave the other half kind of chunky and just smush them with the fork. So there's a little more texture to the burgers. The idea here, especially if you're like new to weight loss, you don't wanna go gung ho and just change everything because that's really hard to sustain. For me, I have been doing this a while and what I'm doing, admittedly, not consistently because you know, your girl be struggling with the sugar as I shake the camera, sorry. What I've been doing is just gradually switching up my recipes bit by bit. And even though this particular recipe does have stuff like, you know, ketchup and little sauces and stuff in there, it's still better for me than just going to say like Jack in the box and getting something that's gonna be small and incredibly calorie dense and have a lot of red meat. Sometimes the little changes, even if they're not perfect, are still better than no change at all. And that's kind of the mindset I'm sticking with right now while I try to get myself like back on track. But girl dinner is continuing. The last part is the part that always grosses me out. I absolutely hate touching like gushy texture things with my hands. So anytime I have to like make things into patties for hamburgers, I wear gloves. If y'all got texture issues, you probably understand. But we are gonna take our mixture. We can get all of it off of here. 
class is in session. Basically, going to take our mixture and then I'm going to fold in, not fold it, but I'm going to add the whole beans in there. So far, texture looks pretty good. Not too many like big chunks of stuff. The funny thing is, we've been eating out a lot lately just because your girl was basically sick for like a month straight. Like the second I thought I was getting better, uh, my body was like, just kidding, we hate you. Have fun dying alone. And I got sick all over again. And I'm frankly still coughing stuff up and it's gross. But because of that, we basically were eating out all the time, which as y'all know is expensive. So I want to get back in the habit of making my meals from scratch, but also I really enjoy it. And so it's kind of fun to get to try a new recipe and just see if it's worthwhile. Make sure all the liquid is out of there. Last thing you want is freaking hamburger patties that are like falling apart. And right now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So this is me prepping girl dinner. I'm not actually gonna cook them yet. I'm basically gonna flatten out a couple of these beans, mix the whole thing together, make the patties, put them on a tray and then put them in the fridge. And that way, whenever my lovely husband Poppy gets home, I can make the burgers fresh and enjoy them. I love having days off because I get to do this. If I came home after work, chances are I'd probably be a little bit too dead for it because that's just how healthcare works. It's rewarding and I love working with my patients. I'm a physical therapist for those of you guys who don't know. It kind of kicks your butt. <laughs> Honestly, I love black bean burgers. I've been kind of just trying them everywhere I go and they vary a lot in flavor, but it's kind of fun when you find good ones. All right, let's see the patty, patty ability. It's very sticky, so that I'm a little bit eh with. But that's why we wear the gloves, because it would be disgusting. Not bad. All right. Yeah, definitely sticky. I would be thoroughly disgusted right now if I was not wearing gloves. So I'm just curious, for those of you guys who have been trying new recipes to see like what's worthwhile in the health realm, what have y'all tried? What kinds of recipes have been worthwhile to actually have again? I've been kind of enjoying finding all the new ones and I've been sort of toying with the idea of taking a leaf out of Beatrice Caruso's book. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. Watch her channel religiously because she's awesome. She started making uh, basically like these little handmade recipe cards that are super cute every time she finds a recipe that's healthy that she wants to like continue making. And it's in like this super cute decorated cookbook. And I honestly, oh, that's too big. I honestly love that idea because it makes it more exciting to actually want to try new recipes, you know? Like I might do that, I don't know, we'll see. I don't think I made that big enough. There we go. Sometimes it's a mind game, trying to get healthy and like trick your body into doing things that make sense. I did not make that small enough, darn it. I'll put that back together. What on earth are you doing? There we go. So this isn't bad. It makes like five pretty hearty patties. Fingers crossed it actually tastes good. The fifth patty's a little small because I made my third patty kind of fat, but that's okay. Hi, baby. You're still not getting any of this. Are you just bathing down there? Yeah? You're so ridiculous. Did you know you're ridiculous? Yeah? Well, he's trying to climb my leg. Hi, baby. This little man. You little man. Oh, little boy. Oh. This little guy added like two hours of editing onto my last video because I forgot that our phone numbers were on his collar and basically held him and rocked back and forth for like 10 minutes. So that was fun. But he busy begging. Yeah. All right, you're not getting any though. He's hoping it's cheese. 8.01 p.m. The burgers are out of the oven finally. Definitely don't smell or look as appetizing as regular burgers, but we'll still do a taste test. I think I made those patties a little big. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't mess with the texture. This got some, and of course I burnt the bun, but we have a burger and some fruit. And I'll give you the verdict via taste test momentarily. A few moments later. All right, y'all excuse the lighting. It's like eight o'clock. It took me a hot minute to get around to actually having the dinner that I made. The patties are a little too big. God willing, they still taste good. Let's see. Oh, wow, these are huge. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. If you guys want to try this recipe, I do.
my phone's gonna be the death of me. If you guys wanna try this recipe, I actually would recommend it. I would just make a lot flatter of burgers so it gets a better texture, but I don't hate it. So yay, we have progress and a humongous burger. I actually made them like probably triple the size they should have been. While it didn't taste like an actual hamburger, it did just taste like a really good dinner and it honestly got better with each bite, but it was so freaking messy. Like there's no way to have good table manners with this thing. It was a hot mess because I made them so freaking big. I'm not gonna subject y'all to watching me eat the rest of this because it's gonna be really messy because there's like already ketchup on my hands. But just know it is worthwhile and I am glad to make a step in the right direction because this is the first meal I have had that like hasn't been going out to eat in a while. <laughs> oh God, this is messy. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more before I officially add it to my recipe book once I make it. That is a craft project for next week or maybe a week in the future. We finished our burgers. We both liked them, which makes me extra happy because my husband doesn't usually like the veggie based stuff like quite as much as the meat, but it was a win. And one of the really nice things that I tend to remember only when I actually cook things is that man, you feel so much better when you eat something that is homemade than you do after eating fast food. My stomach feels a thousand times less cranky than it has been for like the last month. <laughs> so yay, we're already starting to step in the right direction and it actually has me a lot more motivated to continue prepping meals. So I'm gonna try and keep that momentum tomorrow and go from there. That's right, lovely humans. We are outdoors. The weather is finally nice out here. It's actually like 80 degrees and I've been dying to go for a swim, but I'm probably gonna freeze. And honestly, it's worth it. When you take the time to do something for yourself and you know, towards your like loss, health, mental health journey, all of that stuff, it's also really important to remember that it's not it being life is not only about what you're trying to achieve and all your goals because there's shush phone because <laughs> there's always going to be something that you're waiting to achieve like oh maybe i'll do this when i get married i'll do this when i'm out of debt i'll do this one blah, 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 blah. don't wait take a second do something for yourself and go outside for the love of goodness and enjoy the weather while it's nice Whew, okay i'm afraid to get this pool it's freaking cold <laughs> or it's gonna be cold and Y'all best know I love y'all because I'm trying to like get my fancy pants camera over water, which there is a wasp currently trying to get some water. So we're going to give him a minute and then get in and probably have to rescue him again. <laughs> the pest control guy came today and I literally had to tell him, leave the wasps on the porch alone. They mind their own business. So we have a truce. We'll see. I'm going to wait for him to get out. Okay, the wasp has been rescued. My fingerprint has hopefully gotten off the lens. I hope y'all can actually see me clearly. And I am going to get my butt in this pool. We got a, an above ground pool and it has been the best decision ever. I freaking love it. Although I did have a full on war for the last, oh God, it's cold, for the last two months trying to get this thing to not have algae at the bottom because I refused to pay for like a thousand dollar filter. Oh God, oh God, oh, I'm going to enjoy this, I swear. Oh. I also already dropped my freaking microphone, nearly gave myself a heart attack. Okay, so y'all are witnesses. I'm standing in the thing. I promise I'm enjoying it. <laughs> but I'm gonna get used to this water and I'm gonna float around and read a freaking book because we did our girl dinner and I'm sure it will be delicious because I'm filming the eating part after this. <laughs> but y'all already saw it. But you know, going back in time. But if you guys hung out with me all day today, let me just say that you are wonderful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And if you want to show a little love, by all means, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And otherwise, I will see you lovely humans, hopefully next Friday, if I can get my life together. Keep your fingers crossed. But otherwise, till next time, bye-bye. Oh, God, it's so cold. Oh, God, don't drop the camera.